My parents, they sacrificed everything. They sacrificed comforts, comfort of not just homeland and motherland, but comfort of identity and place of being. They were part of an oppositional party against Ferdinand Marcos. And that was part of my early upbringing, seeing that my parents were not afraid of a dictator. People who had individual ideas, individual thoughts that didn't reflect and support the ideas of a dictator, these people were arrested. And you know, that was the danger my family faced. And that bravery marked and created my identity and my sense of purpose and or very early on in life. I am in the interdisciplinary studies program, so I blended psychology, religious studies, and peace studies as parts of my major. There is such an interconnection between all things. For me to talk about psychology, I can't not bring in spirituality and what fuels people and what impassions people. And, and peace studies exemplifies who I am. Coming to Naropa, it, it really cultivated a sense of freedom in thinking and has helped me fuel my spirit and my passion to, to continue doing social justice work today. We are a university that creates leaders, not just politicians. The difference is leaders campaign for marginalized voices. And these are the voices that need to be elevated all over the world. Volunteering for Bead for Life, and it's an organization that empowers women in Uganda. They call it one bead at a time. They use recycled paper, and they roll them, and they lacquer them, and, and the women sell them here in the United States and all over the world through bead parties. Many of the women are HIV positive or living with AIDS, and so it, it empowers them. The work they're doing really touches me very deeply because it's working with impoverished communities. It creates a, a way for them to find a sense of purpose in life. If you imagine a string and you've got gifts at the bottom of this string, contemplative education has a way of pulling it out and taking these, these gifts and putting it out to the world one gift at a time. And contemplative education allows for your spirit to grow so you are unafraid to change the world.